Speaking of the you intro, what I'm let's do one. <laughs> Jay Wynn, cue up the pimping right now. <laughs> Cause this, we done got to the motherfucking good part. Yeah. It's time that people know that we who we in here talking yeah. to. We done already walked up on the good shit. Yeah. They already familiar with the work. If they yeah. familiar Let's with who put the work out. <laughs> yeah, I told, I told J-O-N who we had coming in. Yeah. And you know, put something real nice together. Something we, like if we had a track, yeah. right? And I was like, hey, Juice, I told you I wasn't gonna never ask you for shit. Uh-huh. But I need you on this. Yeah. Cause I feel like being like puppy. I don't wanna rap on this one, baby. I just wanna talk a little shit. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> As we proceed to smoke the rest of our weed. <laughs> what you need me do? You know what you do. No, oh uh, no, no. You know what you do, Juicy. Keep one thing. Y'all ain't gonna put me on. Big Draco Bear, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nigga took my little money right here, but they, we gonna get it back together. <laughs> Where the hell you get a big Draco? Yeah. Soldier Boy Bear for real? Yeah. Okay. From Spray, Spray Ground. Oh, mm. that's what's up. Yeah. You gotta train everybody. Hey, yeah, yeah. Big Draco, you get what I'm saying? It ain't nobody gonna snack my yeah, nigga shit. <laughs> I keep him with me. Yeah. <laughs> Soldier Boy is very hard. important to the to, Come on, man. To the culture. I be saying that. Mm -hmm. He is. He is, bro. We need to go out and support this new album. They said they ain't gonna sell but 500. I saw mm. that. I don't know how the fuck they gonna know that, but whatever. 500? That's what they just be making up. Thousand? Of course. No, 500. <laughs> Wait a minute. The no, number no, after no, 499. They ain't gonna sell an album to Decatur. Nobody said that. Decatur Street. Nobody said that. They just hate me. That album going. I wish so on that one. <laughs> they hate like, like a They hate one. like a motherfucker. Yeah, oh, God. The album that they hate, man. Just brother. go double cigarette plastic. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I sold 500. I don't have an album. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go black and mild wood. Tip. Triple black and mild wood. Tip. Yeah, that's yeah, so funny. <laughs> Did he post it on his page? <laughs> Where was it? 
make my head to go underground. Is it on the story? Bitch, it's bio. Oh, man, you fuck that. You can only buy it from 2 a.m. to 3 a.m. <laughs> God damn, man. They hating. That's hating, bro. Mm-hmm. That's fucking hating. They need to stop trying. saying shit like that, though. Trying so to hate. Cause what if that nigga came out and that shit just just did crazy numbers? Oh, they ain't gonna do I'm no more that, right away. He ain't always sell, able to make it. What if he just sell two million just cause the culture fuck with him? Yeah, he might he be, just buy that shit and don't even listen to it. Just. <laughs> Say what you will, but he always got the ability to make a hit. Yeah. A jump on a little yeah, wave. Jump out of nowhere. Yeah. 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 At least have some shit good enough that see. people <laughs> want to steal. Point. <laughs> <laughs> right. Message. <laughs> yeah, he done had some beats first, and motherfuckers came out of it. Whole fuck. Flow. Nigga, they stole his whole fucking flow bar for bar. <laughs> Drake. Oh, Drake. Shit. <laughs> I knew it. Yeah. I knew it was coming. They stole my butt shit. <laughs> now, you can't deny that shit. Yeah, that word for word. You didn't even put them two together until he <laughs> motherfucker oh, said that. He put them on a song and then he took his verse off, he said, right? <laughs> oh, no, that was I don't know, don't no, see. He's spreading <laughs> gossip. <laughs> right, he's he right, like, hold on, hold on, wait. <laughs> but he was on that one Drake song on the hook. When do you feel like you got good at the music, though? What you what you mean by good? Like when like, you was like, this me. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to be a star now. Um, I don't. Okay, so it's two ways that I'm taking it, right? Right. Cause I don't know my sound. Right. But I am very confident with what I do, and bruh, like. I'm gonna ask the I same question in Memphis. When shit get sick. Okay, when she got serious. <laughs> okay, you feel me? That's basically what I'm saying. When she got serious, I mean, I, I always been serious about music. Like, six years old, choir. My mama made me get in the choir, but I like being in the choir, though. You get what I'm saying? I was an alto, and then when they heard me sing, they heard me singing solos and stuff. So then I had, I got two older sisters that put me on all the gangster shit, and then the Destiny Child did the, you get what I'm saying, all of that. Right. So when he got serious, I was 12 years old at this point. I um, I play, I play by ear, I play the piano too. Oh shit. So I used to sit in, in my mom in them house and I used to play the piano and write songs in my my my, my little book, thing, right? Um, my daddy put me on Garage Band. This is before Fruity Loops, oh, all of this God, shit. Man. You get what Real I'm shit, saying? Yeah. I had the MIDI control of all of that. So I used to make my little beat up on there and I'll make a song. So once he seen I'm serious, he took me to the studio at 12 years old. And I did my first song called Memphis. And from then on, like, I used to post on MySpace, Facebook, every, like, every week I posted these four videos. Yeah. And probably get, like, 10 views, like, two comments. See what I tell you, what I tell you is going to pop out. And I'm going to keep up, I'm going to keep up, I'm going to keep up with them, though. And I'm going to put them right Let back up keep, in that box. I'm going to keep one of them shanks, man. That's cool. Suit, man. What you want to keep us on there? Man, I got put it Which on. Which one? It ain't Mr. Pinky. Put it on your pinky. <laughs> so for when you do cocaine, like. You gotta go. Get that look. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put it in your pocket. You're gonna stab your nuts. Don't put it in your pocket. Collect this item. Collect this item, man. That's why we got to collect this item somewhere, man. Hey, man. We're getting new faces put in the hip-hop. We're gonna get a little cake. We're gonna get a little cake. And y'all got the good one. That's the one that got the good one. And they got your name on the juicy foot. Oh, shit. Shut up. You better get stabbed. You better get stabbed. For real. We're gonna keep that. That's the one. Yeah, that, so that yeah, that took off for me. I was what I was, I was, I was still young. I was still in high school and shit. And then my first viral video was called Porn Star. I ain't had no reason talking about none of this shit. But I wound up getting pregnant. Then after that, after the song, what? <laughs> after the song, so I was with that being, huh? <laughs> the, the song, song did that. That song, <laughs> that song was. How was the song? That motherfucker was hard. Got, me, yeah. got okay. me pregnant. Everybody that was at the club that night got pregnant. Every time I no. perform the song, everybody wound up pregnant. No. <laughs> 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 nah, it went it went crazy. It went crazy just because you know, like it was dead, like and um, you know, it was dead. So that was me, younger type shit. Like that's when world star was world star, like everything. You get what I'm saying? Fights, my pop all it. You get what I'm saying? And then after that, that's when I had linked up with Flyboy Z, the one that I was telling y'all about. 
And after I heard him and his, like, bro, they was saying that he was like the new Drake. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. he was on the radio, like, he hard. So I got over with him and I linked with him. And then I linked with Jig. They put me in the studio. And I was like, oh, yeah, I fuck with this. So then I learned to record myself. I learned to have to change my flows off from watching him. And basically, them do their thing. You get what I'm saying? And shit, from then on, I just been independent and we was moving around and I just made my way. But I've been serious since I was like, look, like music is therapeutic for me. You know what I'm saying? Like my daddy, he used to put me on punishment. I'm beating on the alarm clock. I'm beating on the mirror. Like I had to have music in my life. If I didn't have that, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to cope. Type punishment? Of. Hell yeah. You look like such a sweet girl. And I am. <laughs> and I am. Punishment. Nah, I used to, man, nah, I used to run my motherfucking mouth. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I was one of them. I was a little ratchet. You get what I'm saying? I was. Mm-mm. Who? Pop my house throwing gang style. I'm like, bitch, I wanna be blood. I'm gonna I wanna go with the gang. I wanna go do ratchet shit with my friends. Oh, not her. <laughs> like, up with your friends. Bro, he wouldn't let me go outside. Like, bro, I used to be passing. Yeah, like, you trying to be off the porch. And you no, need to be like, I was doing, like. In them books. Bro, if your kids doing good in school, bro, you yeah. supposed to let them go outside. You supposed to, he was too strict. Oh, not in Memphis. Like, what you mean? It's dangerous. Nah, bro, you come on. You're supposed to be bro, outside like, till you grown in Memphis. Nah, bro, like, <laughs> it wasn't nothing like that, though. Like, it, we were cool with my mama. Is I feel like if your if your parents raise you right, that shouldn't be nowhere. You know what to do. You at an impressionable age. My my dad was up in the not the military in the army. He went overseas. He was straight. Nigga, we was waxing wooden floors with our hand, not the buffer. That nigga had us put the stuff down, your dad waxing, was goddamn major cleaning pain. baseboards, <laughs> and we was not on Winifred punishment. Pain. Look at the character it built. Yeah, right. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, I, I appreciate it, but I also think that shit ran me crazy cause I ran away and I got away very young and that's what caused me to have a child young. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's cool to be like that, but you have to give an outlet because if you don't give an outlet, it's gonna make a, you get what I'm saying? Especially a little girl. So, you just scared shit, shit, I went experimenting. But not to expect that turn. You're a great storyteller. <laughs> you, your stories have some sharp ass turns. Yeah. <laughs> nah, it, 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 it ain't enough, bro. I had to get away from it and see, I had to grow up. You I, set me all the way up. I was like, look at the character. <laughs> yeah, but I ran away. <laughs> That's when the shit started happening. <laughs> what happened? I had a baby. <laughs> the shootout, the baby oh, God. Queen Latifah, they shot up Queen Latifah's 64 in Poland. <laughs> Luther found us. <laughs> Tim Luther let us go. What was that moment that caught you off guard? Like, oh shit. What you mean? When it came down to my music type yeah. shit? Like with your career. Just when you knew you was like, you know, you got that chance that you've been working for all your life. Uh, that moment when you're like, is this, this shit, shit real? This shit really happening. Yeah. I got a question off when that P, one too. When P Valley came out, what, first of all, P Valley came out on my birthday too. I'm gonna ask my question after we get done. 
But my birthday is July the 12th, so I'ma cancel. It came out on my birthday, and it was the feeling of my kids being able to hear me on TV. Yeah, yeah. Now they can watch the show. They were only for the intro, little nigga, to get, go back on Saturday. You get what I'm saying? And it was the feeling of that. And my mama calling me and being like, yeah, girl. And I'm like, mama, don't be telling people on me. You better slow down. You know what I'm saying? Like, after that, it was like, yeah. But I wouldn't say the confidence and all of that came from that. After we lost Z, I, it was a boost of like, he gave me confidence. You know what I'm saying? From where he at. And it's like, okay, now I got to do it. And I know I'm going to do it because he said it. And he, you know, he gone. So... This one, this one I'm finna strive for, and this is where I'm finna get my boots from. And that's my motivation, so, he don't, I'm talking about came in, oh yeah, Juicy gonna be a star. So after, after that stunt, I got that confidence, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and I feel good about it, but one of my yeah, major fun. accomplishments was my, my, my kids being right there, yeah, that's my mama, you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it feel good, it feel good to like, you know, like, get that type of feeling and have your kids basically giving them something to go to and not having to sell my body or sex ties myself for it. You get what nah, I'm saying? Fuck doing that. You yeah. just make the theme song for it. Yeah. They yeah. go crazy, make an anthem. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I ain't cause bro, I'm I'm low key, you know what I'm saying? I ain't cocky, I don't I ain't egg, I ain't none of it. My boy ain't gonna fuck with me, but I don't I'm think low they key. would I stop to tell <laughs> you. Yeah. God. Yeah, ain't nobody really gonna Ain't nobody gonna try nah. no shit like that. Yeah, I couldn't really see no whole bunch of ladies looking to trash somebody. <laughs> You can't even argue how you want. No. You gotta poke that finger. First of all, you gotta watch where you're click's gonna be louder than yeah. that. Did it? No. I couldn't see nobody fucking with you. You tatted up and shit. You from Memphis. You really don't got shit to worry about. No. No, I ain't even talking about like that. I'm just talking about like, you know, like, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna stay on my ground when it comes down to it. Like, you ain't gonna bully me out of this shit. Like, I'm I gonna couldn't see company. nobody trying to bully you. Oh, they gonna try it. Man or nigga, woman, <laughs> nigga, I couldn't really see too many people fucking with you like that. <laughs> nah, hell no. Nah. Motherfucker penetrate the skin. Right? Yeah. Nah, hell. That. <laughs> they gonna judge you. No, nah, I can. I think there's. I ain't nobody ever asked me no like this before. But that's that's it though. I can say that that, that was it. Other than that, it's like, man, it's, I don't feel like I reached that point where I. Like just totally like Please feel like I succeeded. Your ass with that. You just seen how I know I was like, oh he shit. He like, oh she finna poke out. I'm telling you, I'm good. I swear to God. I really want to, y'all y'all challenging me and I really want to roll up a bunt or a blunt with these so I can show y'all. Are you going to use them like chopsticks? How is it going to work? Let's go. Give me the Dutch, man. I'm going to roll up. Y'all got me, y'all got me screwed. Let's go. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Period. Cool. A new podcast from the creators of Up and Vanished. Louisville police are searching for a missing 24-year-old woman. When I read about Alana Chen's disappearance, I couldn't look away. <laughs> a shy girl from Boulder who wanted to be a nun since she was a teenager. So Alana was like sneaking out to go to church. But she kept a secret, one that was slowly tearing her apart. I didn't know she was attracted to girls. No, she didn't tell me. Yes, the mother says her daughter first opened up to a priest at her church when she was just 14 years old. However, the church denies any conversion therapy was done. She didn't tell me. She told him. She confessed to him. From Tenderfoot TV comes a new podcast about the price we pay to belong and the systems that pay no price at all. This is Dear Alana. Listen for free on the iHeartRadio app or Apple Podcasts. For an exclusive binge of the whole season, subscribe to Tenderfoot Plus at tenderfootplus.com. Yo, it's Baratunde, and I'm back with a fourth season of my podcast, How to Citizen. We're focused now on how to create a dope culture of democracy. To help, we got people like Coach Steve Kerr. Connection between people is really powerful force. And sci-fi writer and activist Adrian Marie Brown. Eventually, you recognize that what we're trying to shift is culture. I promise it's the freshest take on civics you've ever heard. Join us. Listen to How to Citizen with Baratunde on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. 
Hey, this is Annie. And Samantha. And we're the hosts of Stuff Home Never Told You, an intersectional feminist podcast about everything and anything from social issues, gender, entertainment, science, fashion, and everything in between. And we're coming out with a book called Stuff Home Never Told You, The Feminist Past, Present, and Future. We break down things like the pantsuit revolution, the battle of the sexes, the civil rights movement, disability activism, LGBTQ plus rights, the Jane Collective, and so much more, including the feminism of fictional women like Princess Leia and tropes like the final girl. One of my favorite things about working on this book was how many inspirational women, fictional or not, that we got to talk about and learn more about and share stories of. Right. And one of my favorite parts is finding out about the different movements that have been started by women and how little we talk about that and what they have done for us. If you want to learn about those things and so much more, you can pre-order your copy of Stuff I Never Told You, The Feminist Past, Present, and Future, available August 29th and available for pre-order now where books are sold or get yours at stuffyoushouldreadbooks.com. Hey, everybody. I'm Ben Nadefafri, and I want to tell you about a show called The Last Archive. It's about the history of truth in 20th century America. Each episode, we tell a story about how people came up with new ways of knowing things and doubting things over the last hundred years. Histories of science, technology, democracy, and also some pretty far out characters. What? What? What the heck was that in? Well, it's Dr. Frankenstein's monster, isn't it? This season on The Last Archive, you'll hear stories about the dawn of social network theory. Of course I go, oh my god. Mid-century songwriting machines. I'm not an industrial spy, I'm a graduate student. Invasive species. Just chanting all together, bring back the nest, bring (laughs) back the nest. All this and more on the new season of The Last Archive. Listen to The Last Archive on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. What's up? This is Michael Rappaport. Did you know that I have a podcast? My podcast, the I Am Rappaport Stereo Podcast, has released over 1,000 episodes and counting. You've heard my rants, but if you want to hear where I do my best work, listen to the I Am Rappaport Stereo Podcast. Every week you can hear all things related to sports, music, film, interviews. I Am Rappaport Stereo Podcast. With a man that needs no introduction, who I've been a fan of, New Yorker, Alec Baldwin. But in movies, the rule to remember is you're not making the movie. They're making the movie. Right. The director. Christopher McDonald, a.k.a. Shooter McGavin from Happy Gilmore. And I would be lying if I said it's not the most popular thing I've ever done. I've done a hundred something movies. Right. It's just a sports movie and it's a, a feel good and you love to hate this guy. Basketball legend from Brooklyn, New York, Chris Mullen. Michael and Magic going out. I looked over at Larry and he's kind of like shaking his head like, no, 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 it's over, dude. <laughs> he's the man. He got it. It's over. Listen to the I Am Rappaport Stereo podcast on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcast, or wherever you get your podcast. We good? Yeah, good. Okay. Yeah, whatever you want to do. You want to roll that up? Yep. Uh, okay. Let's do that. Okay. So How I'm you got to handle the ad, the tray? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Watch what I do, though. You see these two nails, though. Everybody see me. Okay. Come here, Jamal. Hey, this is so hood, I'm gonna drink another here. Kool-Aid. Uh, I think I should be... Yeah, this is David Black. I think I should be good. No, no. Ain't no way juice a foot. Okay. Let me see that rapper. Thank you, man. One in there. <laughs> so what, uh, what's the question that you said you had? I was gonna say, what's your, uh, once, once you got your, your good little check, mm-hmm. first, you know, significant check, what's that shit that you bought? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You just, it might not even been no smart purchase or nothing, but you just had to do it and you went here, goddamn baby. Man. Yeah, all the hard work paying off. Fuck it, yeah, I gotta fuck have it. I'm doing it. Even if I'm fucking I'm it off. I'm doing it. I get I'm it doing it. I'll figure it out. I get it back. I'll figure it yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Fuck it. We all did. Hey, and my man, life, hey, man. Everybody here, you amongst friends. This is a therapy group. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? What, what, what was did it? I, what did we go crazy? Okay, so first of all, I had to get a home. Like, okay, that, ain't, that ain't nothing that I, I, See, I said that I wasted. That's nah, I did. I'm going down the list, because I'm like, hold on, because I spurred. Some irresponsible Some irresponsible shit. Some irresponsible yeah, 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 yeah. Billy. First off time, they want to tell me shit. I went to go on Cobra <laughs> Billy. Stop talking that shit. Stop wearing me. Oh, oh, oh. When it, got, when it got the mods right after let's that, what we talking about? Go. Break the mods in two oh, weeks. Oh, yeah. When it got the hemi, oh, scat pack, let's go. Oh, there you go. Turned up again. 
Oh. Winnie got me a rolly. Okay. Yeah, a little nice little stone. <laughs> And when it comes to my kids, bro, them folk, man, them folk got cars, clothes. My sons, they got, I got them necklaces. My daughter, she wasn't even born yet. My, I cashed that on her necklace, earrings. I believe that might fit there. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Show me your beautiful. Finest oh, line baby jewel. <laughs> oh, that, that already, like that's that's mostly it, bro. I ain't, I ain't do too much with that's the I ain't do too much with the Spurs and with G. But we, you said that invested. family first. You said that off top. So yeah, you said bro, that was the first thing. Sure. I got you. I feel you. We invested though. We I did, so, I did something close to that. <laughs> what Aston, you do? Aston Martin. Okay. Off top. James Bond car. <laughs> No reason. <laughs> I ain't, I ain't no wrong with that. I knew the nigga was tripping because every time he got in the motherfucker, he had a scarf around his neck. <laughs> and before he pulled off, he would always throw the scarf back. Thank you. Nigga wearing the gloves. What are you nigga doing? Nigga was wearing the gloves with no fingers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll see you in the gym selection. Damn. <laughs> This nigga in the airplane. crazy. <laughs> Hell no. You want to ask Marvin? He used to say shit yeah. like, be well, uh, Luce. <laughs> Arrum. Farewell. <laughs> Farewell, That's Carter. how the car used to pull up. Arrum, bum, 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 bum. Arrum. This shit was a horse slayer, boy. Oh, shit. What color was it? That shit like silver. Silver, okay. Oh, yeah, you had to drink. Yeah, you had to drink. You had to drink. Yeah, had goddamn James Bond on the head. Man. I can't even join that conversation. What was the smartest investment you feel like you ever made? Uh, shit, man. I think, uh, I guess probably L.A. started paying off. I moved out there for a little while, and then mm -hmm. I just was able to make some connections. But that was an investment, because I wasn't making money out there, like, to equal out how much rent was. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Mine has a bitch yeah. on my soul. So. But L.A. LA is, is fun. And I ain't never been to one of they beaches. I still gotta go, but LA is a vibe for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't have known all the writing shit and all the other shit I could do in the industry. Just yeah. Know, so. Irresponsible. What you buy, Loaf? Yeah. <laughs> still doing it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> still bad. Y'all nigga better than me. I bought a French. I'm I ain't gonna care. There was something else I did. I'm about to be Bro, I swear to God, I got me a dog from overseas. I think somebody asked me about a dog. It might got that. That ain't that ain't bad though. Them dogs come through. Is when they start getting sick. That nigga died. That nigga died like two months. Him breathe. That fucked up. I heard this nigga. Are you serious? I promise, man. I spent like. He was sick when you got. I spent seventy five hundred on that dog. Wow. Nigga had work breathing problems. How much was he a small one? Seventy five. Was he a small one or he was a regular one? What the fuck? Fluffy motherfucker. Seventy five. You went on. You went on seventy five. Seventy five hundred. And a shout out. Seventy five. He still like seven. I'm trying to understand. Five hundred dollars on a dog. The American dog. Yeah. On a French dog. It's a French dog. And he died. How you take him back if he died? What do you mean? You can't. I still got him. Yup. <laughs> 7,500, I kept that nigga. <laughs> that nigga got his ass up on the floor. Making it a bar sound, see simple and speaker behind it. I done stuck in there. That nigga sit on my couch right now. Oh, 7,500. On his back. We ain't gonna keep you. <laughs> Oh, like a swizzle, I'm like, every time I throw him up, he ran on his back. I put oh, weights in it. What made you as a name? name. <laughs> Spent seventy five hundred dollars. You know, you know, nigga, prices too. Yeah. Like that's that's a, that's a car. Yo, it was seventy five hundred and a shout out. Damn. I ain't no way. You ain't no way. shout out. Seventy five hundred, no, nigga. I'm not. Nigga, I'm not a fan. I'm not. I'm not gonna know you after this. Uh uh. Nah. I'm not gonna know you after this. Nah, you ain't supposed to get. You don't. I'm not gonna pay full price and promote the shit. Uh, I can't yeah, do this. Nah. I can't do you this. You think he was looking out? And the dog wasn't on. The dog was a lemon. <laughs> oh man. Had to be. Look at Too much. <laughs> That's Look at crazy. <laughs> I would have called that nigga well. <laughs> hey man, you gotta give me a gerbil a fair or hey something, man. Hey man. You gotta make up for that shit. I don't know, I don't know how you do shit, but for say about her, I need something, man. Hey, what man. other dogs you got over there? Do you got any other dogs? But that was the only one. But it's in the dog. Hey, 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 hey my boy. Hey, my you might buy some of these dog food back or something. Hey man. Hey, oh, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. 
Nah, ain't no way, bro. You oh. got your ass on now. Bro, bro, you, 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 I, hope the, I hope the nigga who, who gave you that dog is watching this and feel terrible and give you a Mine, dog. for real. Dang, that dog Cause he dead wrong. My bad. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I was at least gonna break the weed down for you. I wasn't gonna you. make you do everything. Thank you. you. All that time, but all you, you did was bust that bitch down. that motherfucker with them nails. In spray, you don't see not a rip on rip on. God, we don't even do that. Watch what I do, man. Watch what I do, man. I'm telling you. Man, I just wanted you to talk your shit because, you know, it needed to be talked. Yeah, but I, I wasn't gonna make the shit too difficult. You know, real niggas okay. do real, you do yeah. real things, man. Yeah, you know people, what I'm saying? People, a lot of people try to put up more obstacles. <laughs> you already, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I, ain't no, I ain't no motherfucking hater, though. <laughs> I, ain't just, I do want to see if you can pull this shit off. Yeah. Like, yeah. Because yeah. the trick is, the trick is with this, you can line it up and you can, you get what I'm saying? No, you get what you're saying. You show yeah. me. I got you. I you will. show me. I will. You want your pinky so, back? No, I'm cool. Give her a put your pinky in your pocket. I'm keeping oh, that right. <laughs> <It's like, laughs> No, I'm good. I got a whole box in the mall. Hold on. Cause I don't want to drop this shit. I don't want you to either. Hold <laughs> on, keep it moving. Yeah, what I'm talking about. Let's work with each yeah, other. Yeah, go on. Yeah, make that shit happen. Okay, so what's your sign? I'm the Aries. We cool. What's your sign? Damn. Yeah, <laughs> got nine years. You just gonna start banging on <laughs> I ain't never heard him do it in real life. So we get up the show. <laughs> when you start doing this shit? <laughs> I'm gonna talk shit. I'm Gemini. Je okay. 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 What are you? I see. Yeah. We good. Yeah. We yeah. good for yeah. sure. Yeah. You, you, you cool. Now you, I don't know. Oh, you say that? I don't know. I just don't know. Like when it come down, heart, when it come down. Nah, y'all do. Y'all, y'all do. You can't. You dead serious? You can't be. I got him right now. He in the truck. That, what? Up, he in man. your truck? But go ahead. What you were saying? Shut up. <laughs> See? <laughs> See? That's why you gotta fuck with him. You oh, so your birthday is somewhere around here. You can't happen, keep, huh? keep him out. Your birthday? <laughs> come, come on, man. I'm Nav Green, and this is the Family Business. I'm Clayton English. You know what time it is. I'm Money Bad Mafia, and we doing perks in the VIP. Man, me, you got to, bro, no, okay. we got to talk uh, about the show first. Yeah. You don't go straight yeah, talking yeah, to yeah, yeah. so, I told you first. I told you all that shit at the I end. Told first, yeah. October, October 1st at Zanus. October 1st, Zanus, Family Business Tour. Thank you. you know what it is. Tickets, 85 South 85 Show. 85 South Show. Show. Um, you get the tickets for the meet and greet afterwards. And you know, it's, it's not going to be no regular meet it's and gonna greet. It's going to be the freakiest shit you come ever on, seen man. in your life. Well, we popping perk. No, 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 no. As we popping everything. Ladies, ladies, just come to the meet and greet, and it's really going to be a greet and meet. It ain't just for, huh? It's gonna be a great. Now my player partners, y'all can come. Y'all about to play a partner, y'all can come back there to the VIP two meet and greet. Oh man, it's family Pull business, up. right? Family we playing business. spades in there, yeah. domino, drinking plenty of liquor. <laughs> the family business tour and what money bag does is completely separate. <laughs> <laughs> He's more like an independent contractor. <laughs> I'm a soul proprietor. We are not. <laughs> Just oh, sometime. Yeah. Right. Two my birthday. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. My son is Gemini. <laughs> He, he, yeah, it's two sides. Yeah, for sure. I don't, I don't feel like that. Well, yeah, because you doing it. <laughs> I don't got two sides, you bro. Yes, you get, because you, like you. Cause you. I got a cousin, you, listen, you. any nigga born on the same day, same year, we don't act shit alike. Nigga, it don't mean you act like somebody bro. else. It mean you act different. That's not true. In yourself. I don't like, believe in sign for real. Like, you gonna tell me? You gonna tell me you a liar because you a Leo? No, nah, bitch, you a nah, liar because you a motherfucking liar. That's that's people that's doing some other I shit. I feel like so when Gemini's, you in a bad mood because you in a bad mood, Listen. and you be in a bad mood, and you show that you in a bad mood. That's just human. I feel but like horoscopes is, is an excuse. An excuse for adults, <coughs> something to blame it on. You ain't stubborn because you, you a Sagittarius. Yeah, astrology right. is real. You can't blame it on astrology. Yes. Is real. I don't but it can't I mean, that be an excuse. All we need an escape. Be doing this shit. Yeah, we yeah. need to escape this shit. So we gotta have to blame it on. It ain't me. Yeah. I'm a Gemini. Get the fuck out of here. You retarded. Hey man, That's I meant to call you back, but my birthday in April. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. You know, we them type of people, we don't really lean so, okay, towards So, okay, so you can say that, but why does a lot of people that have the same sign still have the same characteristics, if it's not true? Then what makes us unique? Huh? What makes us unique in the What makes you unique, unique, unique is because, because you were born unique. Just because you got some traits, Because y'all, y'all, y'all be reading about this. They trying to badger you and believe what they were No, I don't even fuck with it like that, but 
I don't even know why y'all trying to read him with this nigga, man. Look at some of his tattoos. I'm Sagittarius. Fuck that, bitch. But do you like that? Are you loyal? I don't give a fuck what you is. Can you cook? He ain't got a dollar sand busting through cooking. He ain't got a dollar sand busting through brick walls. In what world does money bust out a wall? Brick wall, nigga. Think that's a dollar sign. Huh? I can't. I can't. I guess I'm myself. I tell you, I don't believe in that shit. <laughs> it's we, it's, it, but, but you ain't answer the question, though. How can so many people have the same characteristics that are the same sign if it's not real? Understandable. Because they only use that shit when it's to their advantage. Right. Don't nobody be like, man, you be stealing and robbing like a motherfucker. You a sex <laughs> They never use the negative. You got to be a sex Man, the way you push that old bitch down at the grocery <laughs> store, I knew this. Right. You, you was a leader. You a right. You got all that anger. Right. You bullheaded. Come on, man. You hey, stubborn. <laughs> you selfish. Y'all are making it funny, but brother, she hey, is real. I don't care what nobody says. Hey, 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 I knew you was a Scorpio, brother. The way you was eating ass and pussy on spring break. <laughs> Then you run fast. You wasn't even Listen. getting to know them hoes. Then you run fast to him. You were outside. Bitch, <laughs> <laughs> you a squirter. Yo, I knew you, you was Aquarius. <laughs> you can swim. You can. Oh, she a water bear. You a water <laughs> She a water bear. I ain't, you know what? I ain't even do with y'all. Man, man. Bro, man. everybody got their own input. It's real. I can real. tell by that ass on her that she was a Taurus. I knew that then. Yeah, I like Blue the water sign. <laughs> Like a metal car. <laughs> What's your sign, baby girl? You Aries? No, you too much like me. Couldn't fuck you. Couldn't fuck you. Me and you, we gonna be falling out about the same shit all the time. See, but oh, that's man. not true though, because people say that when you the same sign, you can't date the same sign. I date my same sign. And we've been together but for no, eight listen, plus years. Nobody ain't never turned nobody down after they gave them their sign. Like, she, you got people that don't fuck with that shit because they yeah. know it's not compatible. But I'm talking about like a dating sense. Like if a nigga like a sign that you don't like, you ain't gonna be like, nah, this ain't gonna work. And hang up. You gonna see what he's talking just, about. Anyway. Like I said, it depends. It depends on the person. It depends on what they believe in and what they like. <laughs> see, don't none of this shit work when you a man. Because if a yeah. nigga like you, he gonna say some bullshit. What's your sign? Right. right? <laughs> you a cancer? I wanted to be born in May too, man. <laughs> Damn. If I could have picked a month to be born in, I always wanted to be a Libra too. Hell no, nah, man. Hell no. Nah. People all, they, they, that shit, they adjust that shit to make it fit whatever the fuck they do. Yeah, you adjust that shit quick. Oh, I don't okay. fuck with Scorpio. Oh, you know I'm on the cusp. <laughs> what? I'm right on the cusp. <laughs> so, so, a, so I'm, I'm in I'm between. The cusp because you know I ain't really. Scared, <laughs> but it's a Capricorn moon. <laughs> My moon is in you. Y'all going too deep off in it, bro. I ain't nah, bro. Y'all going too deep off in it. My moon is in you. On the cusp. <laughs> okay, all right. You want to play hard to get? Ask me what's my birthstone. What's my birthstone? Let's compare birthstone. What time was you born? What time was you born? All right, before you, what time was you born, sweetheart? That's all I'm asking. That's why you moody. You a morning baby. You got to be sapphire vibes. Y'all really making fun of this shit. I don't care. I'm gonna keep believing it because it's real and it's very real. It. I'm not saying it ain't. Mm -hmm. Baby girl, oh, I knew you because you've been shit. in a little mood. Your Pluto was rising. <laughs> you tell me. Oh, it was some Mercury in that retrograde. Nah. Oh, man. I can always tell when it's about that time, bro. They're talking about, you know what Mercury retrograde? Bitch, your period just covered up. <laughs> No period for the come on. Cut that shit break your retrograde. Just say you need some money. <laughs> <laughs> Shut you up. You need me to cash every. Say that shit. I'm supposed to look at the and figure out you fucked up. <laughs> I'm supposed to look up and realize you ain't gonna make rent. <laughs> Bitch, shut up. What do you need? Get I don't me. know what I need. Mercury's <laughs> wearing a movie <laughs> page. Right. And wearing re retro oh, at the same God. time. Y'all got, got, got off. I'm telling you right now, I'm right <laughs> on the cut. <laughs> if you ask me tomorrow, I might not have it. <laughs> Mercury is in the Escalade. <laughs> oh, man. Go get some Gatorade. Y'all <laughs> uh, <laughs> stupid. Y'all got off. I get out of it. Y'all stupid. Y'all be believing all kind of shit, man. Who? Mm. Well, y'all still, y'all cracking jokes, but y'all still ain't answer the question. What's the question?
When people are the same sign, why do they still carry the same characteristics if it is not factual or real? It's got to be real. It's the I'm right hand you. and the left hand. Okay, I'm with yeah, you. We but go. this yeah. is the thing That's about all it. I wanted. Anything is real mm -hmm. if you believe it. No. Not well, true. I believe you just have the traits. That's true. Not if you true. believe it's a general statement. You're what you're doing. saying of seeing is believing. They say, Believe nothing. Believe nothing you hear in half of what you see. But wait a minute, just because people play in your face all day. Believing is believing. Uh huh. Yeah. And nobody take that from you. Yeah. Nobody, if if and you believe you, it, if it, you real. believe it, it's real. Hell yeah. Yeah, but if it's happening in front of you, you have no choice but to sit up there and believe it. No, no, you don't have to accept that. No, you gotta believe it, and you gotta no. take action. Right. And you gotta work at it. Motherfuckers think believing enough. Yeah. Take. You, yeah. you said it. You yeah. said it. Believe it, take action. That's cool. Yeah. That's the action. That. It takes that. action to it believe. Takes, right. Yeah, yeah, you right. You right. I give you that. Yeah. I give you that. You feel me? Yeah. How's this going? It's, it's going. I'll pay attention. I'm going to watch your ass for a second. It's going. We got it. Okay. Right, I was going to wait because I thought you were finished. <laughs> And I was like, I was gonna light right where you started, but I'm gonna smoke three blunts. Now, now we ain't put no time limit on it, though. We just talking. We got time for nothing. Hey, I'll tell you, they they time how long it takes. Now y'all finna make me nervous. She gonna have the blunt right into the strong. They definitely count. They be timing my ass. It took him 38 minutes to roll that blunt. I was high already. It was the third show. <laughs> we smoked 14 previously. Oh God, like we already lit it. Wait, uh, hold on, hold on. I want to make sure it's stay. I want to make sure it's white. Right. You get what I'm saying? Cause y'all ain't gonna You got that thong out, that thong right there. You cheap. Boy, I what got so mean? high one night we was out here <laughs> and we're shooting these shits. I went home and woke up and thought that it was time to do this shit again. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> A new podcast from the creators of Up and Vanished. Louisville police are searching for a missing 24-year-old woman. When I read about Alana Chen's disappearance, I couldn't look away. <laughs> a shy girl from Boulder who wanted to be a nun since she was a teenager. So Alana was like sneaking out to go to church. But she kept a secret one that was slowly tearing her apart. I didn't know she was attracted to girls. No, she didn't tell me. Yes, the mother says her daughter first opened up to a priest at her church when she was just 14 years old. However, the church denies any conversion therapy was done. She didn't tell me, she told him. She confessed to him. From Tenderfoot TV comes a new podcast about the price we pay to belong and the systems that pay no price at all. This is Dear Alana. Listen for free on the iHeartRadio app or Apple Podcasts. For an exclusive binge of the whole season, subscribe to Tenderfoot Plus at tenderfootplus.com. Yo, it's Baratunde, and I'm back with a fourth season of my podcast, How to Citizen. We're focused now on how to create a dope culture of democracy. To help, we got people like Coach Steve Kerr. Connection between people is really powerful force. And sci-fi writer and activist Adrian Marie Brown. Eventually you recognize that what we're trying to shift is culture. I promise it's the freshest take on civics you've ever heard. Join us. Listen to How to Citizen with Baratunde on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcast. Hey, this is Annie. And Samantha. And we're the hosts of Stuff Mom Never Told You, an intersectional feminist podcast about everything and anything from social issues, gender, entertainment, science, fashion, and everything in between. And we're coming out with a book called Stuff Mom Never Told You, The Feminist Past, Present, and Future. We break down things like the pantsuit revolution, the battle of the sexes, the civil rights movement, disability activism, LGBTQ plus rights, the Jane Collective, and so much more, including the feminism of fictional women like Princess Leia and tropes like the final girl. One of my favorite things about working on this book was how many inspirational women, fictional or not, 
that we got to talk about and learn more about and share stories of. Right. And one of my favorite parts is finding out about the different movements that have been started by women and how little we talk about that and what they have done for us. If you want to learn about those things and so much more, you can pre-order your copy of Stuff I Never Told You, The Feminist Past, Present, and Future, available August 29th and available for pre-order now where books are sold or get yours at stuffyoushouldreadbooks.com. Hey, everybody. I'm Ben Natafaffery, and I want to tell you about a show called The Last Archive. It's about the history of truth in 20th century America. Each episode, we tell a story about how people came up with new ways of knowing things and doubting things over the last hundred years. Histories of science, technology, democracy, and also some pretty far out characters. What? What? What the heck was that in? Well, it's Dr. Frankenstein's monster, isn't it? This season on The Last Archive, you'll hear stories about the dawn of social network theory. Of course I go, oh my God. Mid-century songwriting machines. I'm not an industrial spy, I'm a graduate student. Invasive species. They're chanting all together, bring back the nest, bring (laughs) back the nest. All this and more on the new season of The Last Archive. Listen to The Last Archive on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Drugs, road burn, madness, the Stones, they become the world's greatest rock and roll band on the 1972 tour. The Rolling Stones were rock royalty, and to America they came to receive their crowns. iHeartRadio's new podcast, Stones Touring Party, puts you at the epicenter. Featuring never-before-heard archival interviews with the band members themselves. I think it's very difficult to make the Rolling Stones respectable. It really is. The only way to do it like that is to be as high as you can be. You'll also hear from those who were along for the ride and live to tell the tale. They were ugly. They were angry. Defiant. They've come for your daughters. That engenders fear. And they made more money off it than any band in history. Stone's Touring Party is a journey through a pivotal point in American history, with one British rock band acting as catalyst for riots, drug busts, and some of the greatest gigs ever played. I'm your host, Jordan Runtog. Listen to Stone's Touring Party on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your favorite shows. Worst experience with edibles. One time we were in L.A. recording some podcasts and I ate about a bag and a half of them bitches. I don't even remember the rest of the trip. I think that was the trip, Fly lost his phone and all that shit. That was a wild weekend, but... Oh, man. Edibles don't really... I guess because we smoke so much. They ain't, ain't nobody really just got no bag. I don't got no Edibles? Bag. Edibles. Yeah. You ever tried shrooms? Yes. <laughs> yep. Yes. Let's go. I want to hear the stories. I recently did most trip fun now. I've had in the fucking world. <laughs> that shit was so I've had, fun. I've had, I've had maybe one, <laughs> maybe two bad experiences. Not terrible. Just I wasn't comfortable. It wasn't good. And what I believe, whatever happened was happening. But was that's what alone? I said. Most that's of the time. No, that's I the wasn't. worst part. Oh, yeah, okay. And a lot of times, like when I've you know done the other times. Oh man, it'd be the best. Like it's the most nature start in the world. coming out mm-hmm. yeah, to kick it. Mm-hmm. Like what's up? Like the, up the wind. I, be, I ain't, I ain't saying that. Just sometimes the wind. I'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> the wind blow up on you. You out of like, town. And then with all your type of birds start just like <laughs> flocking, like just showing up, like the kick birds it. Birds that was like, already there, but you didn't even know was fucking there. They start making like it. why they start getting so talkative on the today. They make their presence on oh. true. Yes. Really? So I just for had me? a little weird ass trip one for the first time. Cause I don't. T- I've been taking it for a minute, but I just had a little weird ass trip like two weeks ago in the club. Everybody head was long as hell. Everybody head was long as fuck. I look at my hands, my hands long as fuck. I look at my feet, my feet long as fuck. So you know what I do? Yeah. I go straight to the bathroom. You are fucking up, bro. <laughs> You stupid. How did you walk you to the stupid. restroom if you think your feet alone? How did you walk to the restroom? That motherfucker with the same side. I was like, this little drug here hate like a motherfucker. This hate mad drug. Your head was big as fuck. <laughs> Dick small as ever. <laughs> no, no, no. 
I was like, oh, this nigga. Hey, yeah. I ain't, I won't even. Oh, man, I forgot to tell you, them shrooms I told you, man, you didn't make these things dick don't work. I was too hot. I would get up. Make your dick shrink up. Man, it's gonna kick in, man. Everything's gonna be long. What he didn't tell you is, his motherfucking legs was 18 feet long. My legs stay the same, same. But my legs got long. Oh my God. Long legs, long feet, big as hands. First of all, you went wrong. Don't take that shit going to the club, man. You oh need to be God. out oh, you be like in the nature. Just like the relaxing. club? Yeah, yeah I did. That's the first time I did it, yeah, man. You got to be careful because you don't know what the fuck happened. That's the first time yeah. I did it, bro. Because you don't want to go in the bathroom and look at your dick and your dick look back and say, hey. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? <laughs> Stop beating me! <laughs> What is wrong with you? You just wake up in the middle of the night and start grabbing on me? How did you like it? I told you, man. How you like that? I'm spinning, spinning your face. Oh my God. I can't. <laughs> I can't. I killed him dead before he took me. This motherfucker choked me till I threw up. You look at your shit, he holding your ball. I'm over you, brother. Oh, man, you stupid, bro. Oh, shit. Oh. That's dumb. That's funny. Them shrooms are hey, You fucked up. Hey, yeah, you, can, you gotta be careful, people. We're not advocating no type of yeah. usage or anything. No. But it's also it also helping people with, like, PTSD and other stuff. Like, they say. it's being used in treatment and stuff. Mm -hmm. To try and get everybody high. It make you believe in yourself, yeah. yeah. If it reset your neural pathways, mm. And it that don't mean shit to me. Spiritual world that you didn't know was there, for sure. Spiritual world. A spiritual world that you didn't know was there. Ecstasy do that. Yeah, yeah but them shrooms is. No, them shrooms like something different. That's why they call them a third eye. You got people that made books about the shit. My ancestors done pulled up on the shrooms. What? My ancestors done pulled up. What they tell you? Huh? What they? They was just seeing. They was like, oh, word. Like they was asking. They was asking questions and shit more than anything. Like. How far back? What's the what you mean How far back? What they ask you? Like, right. sixteen hundred ancestors are like man, like everywhere. Ancestors. Like I'm looking in the sky and it's like you know it's a few stars at first, but then stars start pulling up. Mm -hmm. They're like just thinking, like listening, like what's being asked out there, and they like, oh, you what? So what? You look, look at you. What? So you talk shit and smoke weed and you get paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> You talk to white people like that? I thought like, that only yeah. happened to me. Oh, that, yeah. There's some people in my family that was jazz musicians. They'd be like, look at him. They don't know how good he got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Miss, you all right? Huh? Okay. This I'm shit good. take it for I'm a good. fortnight. No, no, stop. We're not, we're not clocking. Bro, yeah. We are clocking. clocking. I'm just kissing. I'm just making not sure. Clocking. I get 100. I'm doing good. What, what's your you. sign? Because you acting real, you know, Sagittarius like. Sagittarius, for real. high. You don't want to give up. Counsel. Stand on it, y'all. Yeah. I'm acting real. Uh, Counsel like, let, no let, key. Let me know when you're ready to give up on that. All right, I got you. I don't give up. You know. So that's one thing. Right. There's one thing you gonna see up, right. up in me. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna tell you what else I see. <laughs> she done popped two more nails off the road that black. <laughs> nah, they done popped up on their own. I'm sliding while y'all laughing like, yeah, these niggas ain't saying this shit. Bro, bro, look at this goddamn nail, bro. That's a shark, too. Let me see it. Damn, look at this shit. This is Jamaican with that shit on right here. Yeah, right. You got me right. Yeah, yeah. That shit this shit crazy. Oh, look at this okay. shit. You got uh, the alien, you got the moon. You got to give us all the nails, shout out to A5 South. Yeah. So we need you here, hey, give us all. I need a whole box over there. We need, to to put them, to we need to put them on a glove. Mm -hmm. Like Fred Cooper. Like Michael Jackson mm -hmm. shit. We Michael need to Jackson. make a plaster version of Juicy Fruit Head and mm -hmm. put the nails back on. Yeah. There. Mm -hmm. Give me a minute, I'm going to tell her to make me, make me some based around the show on my soul, bro. She going to turn the shit up. We got to put this shit up. I'm gonna have her make me some, and it's gonna be specifically made for this. You got a lot of music out right now. What can they go and check it out at? Um, all stream platforms, Spotify, Apple Music, um, SoundCloud. You can get shit, shit on there, Audio Mac. 
Um, I just dropped what, like four, five singles in basically like two weeks. You know what I mean? Oh, we can always ask anytime we get some artists in here. Who you want to work with? The train work with you? I don't work with everybody. I don't care. Like I, I just I like making music. I don't care about. I don't care about who on this side. Who on, I want to make music. I don't care. I don't care about no other shit, bro. Like. You know, I like Drake, Rihanna, all of this, but I don't care. I just want that music, I swear to God. Like, that shit different. I want to work with Maroon 5, all them folks, bro. Oh, that hard. Cheap, you know what I'm saying? What would Juicy Fruit and Maroon 5 say? Mine, some hard ass shit. Uh, don't, that might be, that might go. Did that you? might go. I don't her shake that ass for me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 It'd be different. That shit might go. She will shake it. <laughs> I told her throw that ass in circles. <laughs> <laughs> you give your money, you're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you talking about you oh, in man. Hard. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. That's, That's going to be crazy. I will That's love dope. to hear that. Just you just gave me an idea. What? Wait on it. Oh, I will. Mm. Whatever you need. I'm gonna be like, yeah, he inspired it. Yeah. Now don't come. Now you know. Now you know I wrote this shit, so you better give me Call my me. message. I got you. Call I got me. You. I got a thousand ideas that only you can get away with. On my soul. Fruit. Bro, I got I got over 2,700 unreleased songs. All I do is just. And record. All I wanted, man, send me the ones that are very inappropriate. All the ones well, that are inappropriate, yeah, yeah, I want to hear. That's the shit. I'll be yeah. Yeah. yeah, on release, like people ain't heard. I, bro, I, you want, all, you want all the Nash directors? I want it like, because like I'm looking for a new, another intro song. Yeah. <laughs> what you looking for? What? Another white man, he don't be wanting to ask. He be like, Got nothing like shake that ass. <laughs> you don't shake that ass part too, but nothing. <laughs> that ass still shaking. More and some more. More and some more. Juicy. That sounds like a little phrase too, motherfucker. Oh, cheeks for weeks. Give me something. You got cheeks for weeks. Man, I'll be shit. Ass is for days, <laughs> but cheeks. Oh, you look quick. stressed out. Listen, man, if I don't get a new ass song, <laughs> I'm gonna get my bones this quarter. And if I don't make bones this quarter, I don't want my body. Oh, shit. Play the next one. Too deep. Too deep. You know what, though? I'm convinced that you literally can't. She done do pulled this both shit. thumbs out. She wrong. Hey, you, bro. You cheated, low key. Uh, bro, they popped off, bro. I swear to God, when, when, when the sheep went wild, y'all gonna see when they popped off and I slid them right here. I ain't popping them off. Make sure you don't leave these motherfuckers. I'm not. Because I don't want I'm these take motherfuckers to be like in the Freddy Krueger movie in the middle of the night. These bitches just get up and shh. <laughs> Nah, you think they got a mind of their own this yeah. shit? Nah, you fuck around your girlfriend and shit. Who the fuck is Juicy? Oh, yeah, it's Ovi. What's your, she was what's on your the social show? media? <laughs> the episode oh, came yeah. out fast enough. <laughs> um, my, so my social media is I am Juicy Fruit, and Juicy Fruit is spelled J-U-C-E-E-F-R-O-O-T. That's how we spell it. Find me there, and I will, you know, respond all of that shit I got. Pages everywhere, TikTok, all of it is all gonna be the same. You got anything coming up we need to know about? Uh, potentially a new, uh, a new little show that I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, hey, okay. Ain't nothing about that. Okay. Ain't nothing about that. Let's Big go. show. Here we about. <laughs> Ain't nothing about that. Big show. Um, other than that, I got two records with Ty Dollar Prime. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Just to show it, my name is Dollar. <laughs> Fuck you, Tommy. He cool. And of course, I'm still, you know, I'm still working oh. with uh, T.I. too. Oh yeah, Close. that shit went crazy. Oh, just, 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 just,
some of that good shit uh -huh. before Come you on. go in the world. I know you see you got your hand full, but I'm gonna show you what we did. Look, we got your Come nice on. little crop top. Yo, they're you know ball. They're ball. Put a little brown on you, you know what I'm saying? Then we know we got you, you know what I'm saying? That's cute. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? We see what you did. It's stretchable. Yeah, my man J. Wynn got you some. Got you some leggings and shit from, okay. from the bando. You, you see ain't no A in there. I like it. You gotta add your own A. Yeah. 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 See, yeah. see, yeah. you see, look, yeah. oh, you down. see how it popped off, right? Yeah. Now watch me, now watch me get the work. Oh shit, you done spilled the weed. She could roll that bitch up quicker here. Oh yeah, God, yeah, yeah. I am. <laughs> you gotta make sure you add your own A so you spell mm -hmm. bando when you oh, put the A in. Oh, definitely, we gonna, we gonna make sure you get, <laughs> get in there. Right. <laughs> That's hard though. That's smart too. <laughs> I like that. Thank y'all. I feel appreciated. Oh, God. No, you already we, know I'm finna post up. Man, we fuck with you, man. They been on our ass that we don't have enough ladies on the show, so we yeah. reaching out, making sure that the ladies get some shine, too, man. For so sure. We appreciate you stopping through and fucking with us and rolling us half a blunt. <laughs> and then spilling out the rest of Well, I did not spill a blunt. Don't do me. We asked a lot. We asked a lot. We asked a lot. So this show is gonna be one of the most fun. I am Juicy Fruit. One more time. We out this bitch. Yeah. We're gonna take a picture right here since she's still rolling the blood. It's I'm gonna finish this blunt. Y'all got me messed up. A new podcast from the creators of Up and Vanished. Louisville police are searching for a missing 24 year old woman. When I read about Alana Chen's disappearance, I couldn't look away. <laughs> a shy girl from Boulder who wanted to be a nun since she was a teenager. So Alana was like sneaking out to go to church. But she kept a secret, one that was slowly tearing her apart. I didn't know she was attracted to girls. No, she didn't tell me. Yes, the mother says her daughter first opened up to a priest at her church when she was just 14 years old. However, the church denies any conversion therapy was done. She didn't tell me, she told him. She confessed to him. From Tenderfoot TV comes a new podcast about the price we pay to belong and the systems that pay no price at all. This is Dear Alana. Listen for free on the iHeartRadio app or Apple Podcasts. For an exclusive binge of the whole season, subscribe to Tenderfoot Plus at tenderfootplus.com. Yo, it's Baratunde, and I'm back with a fourth season of my podcast, How to Citizen. We're focused now on how to create a dope culture of democracy. To help, we got people like Coach Steve Kerr. Connection between people is really powerful force. And sci-fi writer and activist Adrian Marie Brown. Eventually you recognize that what we're trying to shift is culture. I promise it's the freshest take on civics you've ever heard. Join us. Listen to How to Citizen with Baratunde on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcast. The Rolling Stones were rock royalty, and to America they came to receive their crowns. iHeartRadio's new podcast, Stones Touring Party, puts you at the epicenter, featuring never-before-heard archival interviews with the band members themselves. The only way to do a tour like that is to be as high as you can be. In. Drugs, road burn, madness, the Stones become the world's greatest rock and roll band on the 1972 tour. My name's Jordan Runtog. Listen to Stone's Touring Party on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your favorite shows. What's up? This is Michael Rappaport. Did you know that I have a podcast? My podcast, the I Am Rappaport Stereo Podcast, has released over 1,000 episodes and counting. Every week you can hear all things related to sports, music, film, interviews, pop culture, The Real Housewives, Vanderpump Rules, all reality TV, and everything else in between. Listen to the I Am Rappaport Stereo Podcast on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcast, or wherever you get your podcast. Does your brain keep you up at bedtime? I'm Catherine Nikolai, and my podcast, Nothing Much Happens, Bedtime Stories to Help You Sleep, has helped millions of people to get consistent, deep sleep. My stories are family-friendly, they celebrate everyday pleasures, and train you, over time, to fall asleep faster with less waking in the night. Start sleeping better tonight. Listen to Nothing Much Happens, Bedtime Stories to Help You Sleep with Catherine Nikolai on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts.